Hello there, this is Christian, welcome back to computer and this little shape in front of us. Uh, I need to look at the Wikipedia page, I'm recording the wrong name over there. Uh, if I'm correct, this is a rhombohedron or one of rhombohedron. Uh, there are some different specific ones, so the triangle and trapezohedron and stuff like that. Or uh, also called a rhombic hexahedron, which is easy for my brain to figure out because the hexahedron is the base one, is the cube. Uh, when it's a square size, of course, but this is a rhombic size, so this is a rhombic hexahedron. You can see it over here. And that's what I'm going to do. Uh, this is from a Facebook question where somebody, after some questions, posted this beautiful CAD drawing. Uh, uh, if you ask a question about something, draw it on pen and paper. It doesn't need to be accurate in any way, but that's you, so people can understand what you're thinking. It's really hard to sometimes. When people describe geometry in text to understand what you or other problems, what are you after? What are you trying to do? This shows very accurately what we're looking at. We are looking at something where all sides have the same length, in this case 2 centimeters or 20 millimeters, and the angles is 60 degrees on the sharp corner of all sides. So these are being all equal rhombs on all sides, all sides are the same. And uh, of course, we only seen half of it, but by symmetry, we can guess that there are three more faces on the back side. So, a total of six sides, and we have a hexahedron. So, okay, uh, we start to understand what we're looking at. Uh, so, we start my explanation now. I'm going to show the workflow later, the straight workflow. Uh, when I see this, uh, there's some people asking, you know, wanting me to explain a bit more about the geometry. I'm not good at geometry, but I will try to explain how I solve. A shape like this. Seeing this one, I very rapidly decided for a tool I want to use in Fusion, the skip Fusion, the sweep command. Uh, oops, sorry. Uh, let's go over to his drawing again. There we are. Uh, knowing that we have two parallel sides here and we have edges that are all in the same direction, so if I can create this rhomb at the bottom and then sweep it along this path here. I get the shape in a very few steps, very few sketches. I don't need to do any calculations. Uh oh, um, I can do calculations. Once, once you can, can calculate the angle of this face or the angle of this line using trig trigonometry, of course. But if you see my other videos, I like to do things with geometry and force fusion to do the math for me because the only thing I want to input are the 20 millimeter and the 60 degrees. So. Let's uh, get over to Fusion and start how I uh, show how I started to work backwards with this one. You start to do design. You can start a new sketch and do it on the bottom plane like this. And first, of course, we need a romp, so we're going to do some lines. There are different ways to do this. So I'm just going to draw something like looks like a romp, like that. Hit Escape to stop line command and then do Window Select of off. Because the thing we know about the romp is that all sides are equal. So we select an all sides and do the equal constraint. And we got all sides equal. And now it's a bit tilted, so I do, do a new line. I'm going to do a construction line from, oops, sorry. Fusion sometimes has extra line. Be careful with that if you're too fast. And I'm too fast the whole time. This corner here to here, this is going to be my long diagonal. The uh, romp has two diagonals, one long and one short. And we know we need to this to be horizontal. And I want to do a midpoint constraint. I want to take this and lock it down to a bridge. So it gets locked down. The good thing about this is, uh, as I'm trying to use the tool with Infusion to a region, is that now I have planes that are uh, aligned with this diagonal and also one here. We can use any one of these planes I want. And by that, we have uh, open sketches. It's not fully defined yet because we're missing dimensions. And the dimension we were given were at this angle here. I'm going to pull it out here. It's easier to see. It was 60 degrees. This angle here is, of course, the same as it did on the inside. And here was supposed to be 20 millimeters, like that. Now let's move the dimensions so we can see them. So that is our basic dimension. The thing is now, I'm going to change it. You can see here, here I'm down in two, 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 million, 2 centimeters and the 60 degrees. Uh, the 60 degrees is a specific case which fooled me in the beginning because some of the angles when I do things are going to be perpendicular to each other and that threw me off. So I'm going to change this dimension to 50 degrees just for the fun of it. And I know I'm going to, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. I'm going to hide dimensions, show dimensions, turn off that if we don't need them. Uh, so this is one phase. That's easy. We can finish case, we can talk and turn around. The thing is, I now, I'm going to go over here, I need to find uh, this line here. 
the path. I'm looking for the path. And now if we look at this face here, this face is of course the same as the face at the bottom, but how do I get up here? How do I find this? You can see I'm doing a horizontal line here. This, this is one I'm looking for. I do not know the angle between those faces. I think I'm going to measure them here. And there's something 70.5288. So that's, I can't put in 60 degrees anywhere there. And I can't do uh, the angle between this line and this is 54.74 is nothing to do with 60 degrees or 50 degrees or whatever in this case it's the 60 degrees still here so there are of course you can use trigonometry to solve them but i want to find a different way so the way i look at this is that this face is, is the same as this so if we think of this if we take this face here and rotate it around this edge here this angle we can find this so let's go to our design and do a revolve revolve solid it selects everything and the axis i'm going to select the edge i was talking about here and let's let's do it in 360 degree sweep like that and hit okay so uh, by doing this i have basically solved it you don't need to do a second sketch i'm going to show you this one now now i want to find the path here the path is where this uh, cone shape intersects with the mid plane here of a plane running through its diagonal so we can do that we could create a sketch, select the plane here, like that. And when you do, hit S on the keyboard to find intersect. I'm going to intersect. I'm going to take the body, this big body here, and I hit OK. I'm going in here and hide the body. Now I have a line here. This line here, if I turn on the body, look at this. This is the path that this follows up here. I hope you're following me. And basically what I can do now, if I don't do anything more, I can do sweep. Sweep. The, oh, just that profile. Along. Uh, and now change change selection, turn off that. Along this. And I hit OK. And by doing that, I have basically done it using uh, features. I can turn off the sketches, so it's a bit easier to see. If we do some checking here now, these two sides, the area, 306.4 and 306.5, the same area. If, if you have the same side length, the same angles, the area should be exactly the same. We can, of course, also check the angles. We have 50 degrees here. If we turn on our first sketch, and I'm going to close this and turn on show dimensions. We did a 50 degree here, 20. So if we do some checking, we should have uh, 50 degrees. We can reset this and do it here. That's 50 degrees. So this is a totally dual solution. Uh, this is one we started with, but I like to boil down things to uh, some simple sketches and uh, sweeps, extrudes, whatever tools I need to do. Uh, because now I know what I need to do, I need to think about the revolve. So let's turn off this and turn off the revolve body and see if I somehow can get this geometry of this part down to the first sketch. Let's look from the top. And if we look here, we know the length of this line here. And as we have revolved this over, we also know the length of this line here, the edge that you think of the intersected edge of this cone here. And as we are rotating around this axis, we know that these two lines here need to be symmetric around this. The angles are not that important because if we change here, change this to 60 degrees, you see they are both moving. We can do this 45 to go down. You can see they are staying symmetric around this edge and symmetry is one of the tools we have in sketches. And yeah, now I know the things I need to know. So. Let's delete the steps we did earlier. Delete, 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 and go back to our first sketch. Not changing a dimension. Let's go in and edit it. I'm going to hide the dimensions again because they're in my way. So we know I need to somehow get this line over to here. It needs to be the same length as we were talking about, and it needs to be symmetric around this. So we start the line. I'm going to do it here, and I'm going to change it to a construction line like that. And sorry, I was a bit speed. I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna do back, back, so we get back to. Sorry, I'm gonna go back and forth. Um, the thing I'm really looking for. I know I, I talked about this too. Now I'm gonna change this to 50 again, so it gets me easy to see. Uh, the point I'm looking for really is the intersection of this line here and the edge here. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you, but this is explanation and. Like, when I start things like this, I do not have the faintest idea to, to solve things normally. 
I just try things, try to think about things, how they are connected. So these two lines here intersect at this point. And if I turn on this sketch here, you can see that's the point I'm looking for. So I need to find this point here. And this point is on the line from this point here to this point here. And I know how to create this line. So I can create this line and create this point. So I know what I'm supposed to do. Now we're going to delete the things again. Sorry. I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, now let's do this. Uh, we're going to once again edit this sketch. We're going to remove the dimensions. Uh, we know we need a line here. I'm going to start the line tool. Make a construction line. Here. Oops. From here. Now it made some stupid geometry. Go back, fusion. Line. From this point, construction geometry, like that. Out to here, and then up to here. Uh, this is the point we're looking for, so let's add a point. I haven't added in the dimensions and locked everything in yet. Uh, the thing we're talking about, we know that these two lines need to be symmetric around the edge we did. So let's do a symmetry. This one, this one, and here, like that. It's not still fully constrained, but the length is not set. We're going to do my equal constraint now. Uh, this was where I started. So that's good. Uh, we can finish sketch now. I'm going to explain the next problem I had. Uh, now I need to do a sketch from the front, like we did the uh, intersection earlier. So I'm going to do a sketch here. And now I can project in. I can project in this point here and this point here. I know the middle does nothing for me. So the problem was here now at, at damn, I forgot one thing. Yes, I can use parameters to move this 20 millimeters because I need the length of this edge. The edge that's going to be up in the air here, sorry, uh, is supposed to be the same length as this. I could type in 20 and do stuff like that, but I prefer a geometric solution you see in my other videos. I'm going to finish this and go back to the first sketch again. I need to somehow get this length into the center line here. So the easy way construction is circles. So I hit, sorry, circle up here or it's see my keyboard. This point here and I just drag it out here. And now I have this point so I can use it later. And as you happen to see, the line here, uh, this, uh, this circles has the radius of a side. So this is, of course, a... Uh, do this, uh, this has a, whoop, 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 where are you? A radius of 20 millimeters. So uh, that's what I did, I'm gonna finish. I'm gonna do to the sketch and sketch. I'm gonna do an intersect of this circle. Here, no, selection geometry is gonna be geometry now, like that. And I can now do a line from yeah, we can do something different. Let's do it this way now to show. I'm going to show the final work for later. We're going to do a line. This is going to be our path. And I know that this needs to be horizontally above this. And these two shall be equal. And by that, we are fully constrained sketch. Nothing can move around. And we're going to do... Oh, sorry, I'm going to use the menus. The people understand. Sweep. This profile. And uh, this path. I'm going to end it. So this is basically where I ended up not totally this way. You're always going to check all the areas the same. And for your six, for your, yes, the areas the same. So we can change this. Does this work with 60 degrees? Yes. Can we change this to 30 millimeters? Yes, we can. I'm going to come on. High dimensions. Show dimensions. Uh, can we do it 90? Yeah, we have a working model. So this was how I found this workflow. So we're going to do the workflow minimalized now. I know what I need to do, so let's start a new design. Everything about this is iterations. Repeat, repeat, repeat. So we're going to do our lines. Uh, we're going to do a romp like this. I know, oops, sorry. I need to select everything. As you can see now, I'm using speed. Let's do that once again. Sorry, I'm gonna don't say. This is me doing speed modeling. I will now use shortcuts on the keyboard so you can see how I work. I don't barely use the menus. Uh, here, L for line, four lines, escape, select everything, equal, line, X for construction, from here to here. 
I'm going to make this horizontal. I'm going to make a midpoint constraint. I'm going to dimension this here to be 60. I'm going to dimension this side here to be 20. I'm going to zoom in a bit. I'm going to hide the dimensions. I make a circle, construction circle from here out to here, as we did earlier. I'm going to do the line, steel construction line from somewhere here down to here. And then from here to here, I'm going to put in the point. For you who doesn't understand, please follow along in the earlier description. Symmetry, these two lines around this. And by that, we have a fully defined sketch. We're going to finish, create a new sketch, a front plane, P for project, this point, uh, this point, and uh, yes, and we're going to do an intersection of this circle. Going to finish, I'm going to make a circle, construction circle. So you see, I do the circle again, the same circle. I'm going to make a line, construction lines, one from here straight up, and then one from here, oops, double lines, line, here to here. Going to make this not construction anymore. And I'm going to finish sketch and I'm going to do a sweep. This here and the path is going to be this one and I hit OK. That was a bit speedy. I'm sorry about that. I'll just show you that when you have done this a couple of times and found the geometry, that's why I sometimes work quite fast because I know what I have done. Captain, I'm sorry about that. I want to show you. So you just skip forward to see the workflow here. We go back and see my explanation. You might understand what I'm doing. Inspect the two areas is exactly the same. We can do a uh, 90 degree. Yes, it makes works with the cube. And 60. So uh, if you're confused by my description, please leave a comment. If you like the speedy version, leave a comment. I know there, there are some different ways. Some of you like to have a beginner tutorial where I explain every step I do. Yes, I can understand that, but some people just want to see the end product. So it's a hard balance to work or to walk. So anyway, this is the rhombohedron done in Fusion for 60 totally parametric and uh, no math more than the two dimensions. So with that, I'd like to say goodbye, take care, see you around and see you, bye.